Good evening, Southeast Texas. Cloudy, nothing on radar here locally. Over at the Horseman's Western Store, they're at 75 Roofing 911 Skycam Network. So again, lots of uh, elements coming together for at least that potential for heavy rainfall. High amounts of atmospheric moisture, a stalled frontal system near the area, and a slow moving upper level disturbance. So a lot of questions. When is the rain going to hit? Uh, where, where will the front stall? Will there be training along that front? And how much rain will we get? Right now, two to three inches through the weekend seems uh, promising at this point. It could be double that, though. Otherwise, as I said, not much on radar and uh, still watching off towards our west uh, for showers and storms to develop there and move into our area. But quite a bit of rainfall uh, north of Lufkin. That's spreading on off towards the north and east. We're into the mid to upper 70s outside locally. A little cooler off towards our north and west behind that stalled front into the 50s and 60s. And again, a lot of moisture piling up along that front. So with that moisture moving on in, when it, when it does eventually rain, it could come down pretty heavy. So the storms could drop one to two inch rainfall rates per hour. But again, we are watching with great interest a piece of jet stream energy. You can see it right here picking up uh, the rains and are picking up into South Texas, but you can also see how the clouds are becoming brighter and that lift is heading on off towards the north and northeast. So we do think that the rains will become uh, more, uh, more, or more evident and uh, try to move on in as this front continues to move slowly off towards the west. That should start to bring the rains on in later on tonight after about two or three o'clock as this upper level disturbance continues to slowly track on off towards the east. It's going to take two to three days for this to get through, probably not until late Sunday into Monday before uh, things start calming down across the area. So again, this is just one computer model. It may or may not be right, but uh, things are pointing towards a wet morning across southeast Texas. Again, this is the one model, the other model showing pretty good coverage. Again, will this heavy rain move into the triangle? It's iffy. I think it's a pretty good bet up towards the lakes area. But uh, again, surprises are certainly possible with improving weather coming up possibly by tomorrow afternoon. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see an easterly wind at 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15, 5 to 10 knots, I should say. So tonight, I cannot go any more than 50% coverage of showers and storms in the Tron because that may not make it in. I'm pretty, pretty convinced that we'll see uh, the rains up in the lakes area. Could it be heavy? Absolutely. Uh, lows in the uh, lower 70s. And then winds turning east tomorrow, so a 70 to 80 percent coverage. I think it may be maybe the first half of the day with improvement during the second half of the day. Otherwise, a yellow bar day for tomorrow because of that front being right over us. On Saturday, rain chances go down. Still respectable 50 percent coverage as that front goes a little further south and washes out. Then that main trough of low pressure comes through southeast Texas. That's when I think things will pick up and we'll have to watch for a small chance of severe weather along with widespread rainfall coming up on Sunday. So again, two to three inches, pretty good bet. Again, it could be double that. That's part of the uncertainty in the forecast. And of course, by Monday, here comes the uh, sun and beautiful weather. Yeah, a lot of sarcasm implied on that. Tuesday, we've increased our rain chances to a 50% coverage ahead of a weak cold front Tuesday night which will bring us some beautiful weather by next Thursday.